I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the outside of the window like this. Alright, what's up guys? It's Jay Sean of How To Reviews and I wanted to do a quick uh, accessory update here. This is something from B&H exclusively. If you guys are ever working on something, there you go. You're working on something as far as uh, filming yourself, especially maybe for some car dialogue or something like that. There's this little bracket I want to show you real quick. It's better if you have a tripod head on it, obviously. So, if you're ever doing something like this and you don't feel like holding a tripod or some kind of sticks of some kind, to be honest, I'm the type of person where I really don't like uh, holding cameras like this and vlogging and stuff. It just feels a little awkward to me. So let me just show you this mount right here. You just crack the window a little bit. You wanna put this side on the inside. It's rubberized and it's coated or whatever you wanna call it. So you don't gotta worry about uh, anything falling or scratching your glass is what I meant to say actually. And you don't want to make it too tight. You just want it enough where it's a little sturdy. So now if you want to film yourself or something, you got this. And this is a 3 8 mount. So it's made for a tripod head. You can't just put your camera on it. So matter of fact, while... Well, let me go show you one real quick. So let me go on my trusty mount right here. I have all these labels. But unfortunately, they're all messed up right now. So, it says flash gun accessories, but it's not. I got so many different heads. Let me get some easy. Uh, can't find an easy. I think this is only a quarter. This, um, this Joby tripod. I think this is a quarter. I mean, uh, I don't think this is a three, three mounts. Oh, okay, so. Let me take this adapter off, put that back on there. This is one of my first tripods I ever had. I thought I was going to use it. It's before it was really popular with vlogging and stuff like that. And uh, let me be clear, I never used it. I never used it. So, all right, as you can see, as you turn that joint, there you go, open. It makes some pretty good stuff. Let me go ahead and uh, take this tripod off and I'll show you the one I'm using. Now, while this is decent and it's lightweight and it's easy to use and unfold, if you're a type of person you're on the go and you, you need to do this in the car like I'm doing right now, this is kind of hard to mount somewhere uh, because of the legs have to be on a flat surface. So that makes it a little difficult, at least in my opinion. So with something like this, I wouldn't put it on this window because it's so close. If you want to know the payload, I would suggest just looking it up on the B&H website. I'll put the links in the description so you can know exactly which one this is. You can There's two options, one just with this or one with a better ball head, a heavier duty type. This one is a very inexpensive ball head. I'll put the links in the description below for this as well. And like I said, so this is a pretty solid mount. It's pretty heavy, kind of feels like aluminum. You can put it this way. Well, you could put it this way if i was outside this is where i would mount it so i can see myself outside and get a quick view if i didn't want to hold it like this or i needed to see a little scenery or you need to see some scenery and you have nowhere to mount this such as this so if i had this on my other window i could easily vlog myself and talk to you right now and show you things with my hands being free and something like this is kind of difficult to place it certain places because it's like i said you have to be on a complete flat surface this is basically a continuation of what i was just saying let me just reiterate a couple things and some safety tips for this device. There's not really any uh, directions on how to use it, so you kind of got to use your common sense. Um, here's a full-size DSLR right here. It's a Mark IV. Here's the window mount, and here's the small ball head that I would not recommend using unless you're using a point-and-shoot or action camera. Now, the way I showed you in the video with the window up and down, as far as even this high I had it, I would never put a DSLR or any heavy rig with the window up. You more than likely want to put the window down on a heavier rig. Be careful with automatic windows like this or they go automatically up. The last thing you want to do is mess up your camera gear or any valuable equipment that you have hanging off your window. So, 
again even though i do recommend this for uh, on the go use this is the way that i want to use it like i said private eyes or sports photographers nature photographers paparazzi even uh can use this but for me i think a lot of auto vloggers or maybe auto installers and do-it-yourselfers or people who just want to vlog and do stuff on the fly or on the go real quick i think it's a great option now let me show you now even though this is a heavy camera let me just try to mount this on the window real quick and let me show you what i mean even with a lighter setup here or a heavier setup with a light uh ball head um this right here is a, a window or door brace right the longer side that looks like a a curve so in my opinion even though there's technically no right or wrong way i will personally have the window down pretty low uh gauge it like i said this is gonna gonna hug the door so a way the way the window is naturally it curves this way it curves inwards so that means wherever the weight is going to be leaning towards that's where i would personally want to put this uh extra brace here um you can do it however you feel safe for your personal stuff but let me roll this up i can't see myself this is just the way that i would personally do it as of right now i'm going to go ahead and put this on the outside of the window like this because the weight is going to be leaning away So the way that I would do this, and be very careful with the auto windows and stuff, just be very careful. Honestly, I would probably roll down the window first and then mount it every time. If you're on the go, you're in a private area, you can easily put the camera just like this, sit outside and film yourself. If you were somewhere else, you could open the door like this and you could have the camera over here like this. And basically to me, what this is, is it's a great way, to me, it's a great way to have, um, a tripod set up when you don't have a tripod and you're on the go you could be in a park somewhere you could be in anywhere so this is basically how i have it right here and as you can see it's on the window and you could also do it the other way so if you're an auto vlogger or something like that you could open the door you could talk about whatever you want to talk about and you could even put it on the inside of the car door such as right here and if you put it on the inside facing this way you could be literally facing this way and having the camera look at you this way. It all depends on however you want to do it. If you want to film inside the car, swing the ball head around and shoot it inwards. And if you're installing something, electronics or whatever, you can do the same thing. So that's all I pretty much wanted to say. I kind of wanted to just touch up on the safety aspect of it. I didn't want to make it seem like you should have the window extended all the way up top and put a heavy camera rig on top because I, I don't think that's pretty safe at all. And um, even with this, you got to be pretty cautious. I don't plan on using a heavy rig with it, even though you probably could especially with a better ball head i'm just using it with a uh, g7x mark ii like a vlogging style camera or like i said an action camera i think it's perfect so that's pretty much all i want to say now let's get right back to the video and end it all right so that's pretty much it if this was helpful at all please hit like and subscribe or hit the notification icon to get updates on future videos do everything at top level and until next time later